Yo, what is going on? Guardians J-Man here, and today I'm breaking down a Solar Warlock build that is both hilarious and super effective in PvP. Now that the Airborne ineffectiveness system has settled its way into the Crucible, you can definitely tell that a lot of folks' playstyles have changed. Guardians stay on their feet a lot more to avoid that nasty weapon bloom you have to deal with in the air. And because the Crucible has become so grounded, a lot of people have kind of forgotten to look up in the air while playing PvP. So I decided to create the ultimate AC-130 build to completely exploit the fact that people really did forget about float and warlocks. To be clear, this loadout isn't necessarily something new or reinventing the wheel, but rather something I wanted to showcase since it's so powerful this season. Let's jump right into the aspects that help shape this build. Really, this all stems from Heat Rises, where you can simply consume a grenade and get a bunch of status buffs. Obviously, the main buff here is the ability to float around the map with a bonus 70 AE stat, but let's not forget that consuming your grenade also heals you and nearby allies, which is really helpful. I personally pair this with Icarus Dash because that mobility is so nice to have, but this also synergizes well with Heat Rises, since you can get an extra dash and can continue granting cure by getting airborne defeats. You can already see how this is a wild combo of floating and healing to secure kills. And it gets even better when we slap on some fragments. Ember of Benevolence, Solar, Torches, and Ashes are what's going to take this build to the next level. Benevolence increases ability regen just by using the build. Solus increases the duration of Radiant and Restoration which can be activated from Ember of Torches. And lastly, Ember of Ashes helps apply more Scorch making your abilities that much more lethal. I pair all of this with Celestial Fire, a Healing Grenade, and Well of Radiance. Celestial Fire has literally been meta for years, it's the best ranged melee in the game and has multiple synergies with the aspects and fragments. Healing grenades are honestly in need of a nerf, and you have the option to consume them for healing and heat rises, or just throw them on the ground in tough battles. And Well of Radiance is the fastest super cooldown, so why not throw that down early in the game while spawning orbs for your teammates? Now I'm a sucker for transverse of steps, but naturally, Ophidian Aspects works great with this build. On top of all the amazing perks it provides, it also gives plus 15 AE for all weapons, making all your shots feel super crispy while in the air. And as for the weapons, it's really what you feel comfortable with as long as you're choosing options with a decent base AE stat. I've really been liking Pure Poetry, which I just did a review on, so feel free to check that out if you haven't already. So that's exactly how we can set up this build, so now let's talk about how to use it. Really, you're looking for sporadic opportunities to float high in the skybox to give your team air support while they're doing damage on the ground. Like I mentioned, Guardians definitely forgot to look up in PvP, so it's been hilarious shooting at people that have no idea where to find you. And if you can play well with your teammates, not only will you hook them up with Cure, or Radiant, but it's kinda impossible for the enemy to shoot both your teammates on the ground and a floating warlock, so it's just a nasty team combo. Just be cautious of spamming heat rises too often because eventually the enemy will catch on. There's obviously a lot of different ways to approach this build and playstyle, so if you did change anything up to make it better, I would love to hear about that in the comments below. Again, we're not really creating anything new here, but sometimes builds become stronger in certain sandboxes and Dawnblade has been fantastic for for me. If you happen to enjoy the gameplay in this video, feel free to help me out with a like or sub to the channel, and as always thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the Cosmodrome.